The first step in the transplant and cellular therapy process is to meet with the transplant doctor. This is known as the transplant or cellular therapy consultation. During your visit to Nebraska Medicine, you'll be meeting with your primary transplant doctor who will oversee your entire treatment course. All of our doctors specialize in specific diseases as well as transplant, cellular therapy, and research. You and your doctor will determine a plan of care specific for you, and this plan will then be followed by the entire healthcare team. Your referring doctor will be kept current on your condition throughout the treatment process. You may require more chemotherapy as you prepare to undergo transplant or cellular therapy. This treatment may be given here or by your primary oncologist. The ultimate goal is to have the least amount of disease before transplant. There are many important members of the team who will help you through the transplant and cellular therapy process, including case managers. All of the case managers are registered nurses trained in the care of the transplant and cellular therapy patient. Each of the case managers specializes in specific diseases or specific part of the process. Case managers coordinate your care and services during the entire treatment process. They work closely with the doctors to carry out your plan of care and will continue to follow you after your treatment when you return home. Other important members of our team are advanced practice providers, physician assistants, and nurse practitioners. All of our advanced practice providers are trained specially to care for our transplant and cellular therapy patients. These providers are permanent staff members on our team here, and they're in the hospital 24 hours a day. Pharmacists, dietitians, and social workers are among the care team members you'll see on a regular basis. Other medical services, such as cardiology, pulmonary, or infectious diseases, may be consulted to help with your care. Our insurance case manager coordinates the insurance approval process and is available to patients to help them problem solve insurance issues. Our patient liaison is available to help patients and their families with non-medical support, such as housing, transportation, things to do in Omaha, and what to bring for your stay and more. There is a relatively large team of uh, people involved in uh, taking care of a transplant patient, starting from um, probably the most important person involved and the most engaged would be the transplant coordinator who's a nurse, whose job is to keep track of all the changes and all the logistics of the transplant and be involved in every clinic visit and every major decision. Um, in addition to the physician, uh, the pharmacist, the nurse practitioner, physical therapist, nutritionist, psychologist, psychiatrist, and social worker. So this is a relatively large team who can provide various levels of support at various time points to the transplant patient. And that also makes care much more comprehensive. I am a blood and marrow transplant case manager. I work with patients who have leukemia and MDS and help them um, through the transplant process. It's kind of the person that serves as your liaison between everybody else. So if you're having a fever or if there's symptoms of complications from transplants or anything like that, the case manager is usually the first person that, that you call because they can help get you in touch with the people that, that can help you and get you into those appointments and get you in to be evaluated and talk to you about what you're feeling and what you're going through and try to help you manage that and talk to your home physician and you know kind of just branch out and be that one person for the patient so that they have only one person that they, they have to go to and then we kind of take care of everything else for them. I think if you ask anybody who works with patients who are uh, going through transplant we can probably always tell you that these are some of the best people that you're ever going to have the opportunity to meet. Um, I think that we get really inspired by patients' resilience and courage and strength going through this. Um, we have some really beautiful family stories and I think for us the, one of the best things is after somebody's had a transplant they will come back to us you know months or years later and, and I've graduated. I've I've had a baby, I have a new grandkid. Um, we're taking the family to Disney World this year to, to celebrate you know, my transplant anniversary. We're kind of doing all these things and for us, that's really the biggest reward. We want our patients to do well. That's having that success and building those relationships with them 
is just really one of the best things about this job. My cancer was MDS, uh, myelodysplastic syndrome. My transplant was in April of 2016. The whole transplant team, uh, the doctors, the nurses, and especially my case manager, um, I wouldn't have been able to make, make it through this with, without them. Uh, there's just too many, too many unknowns. She was there for, for me to answer questions and and help guide me. And I I probably even called her with a couple of stupid questions. But she, she is a rock. She she was somebody I could I could hold on to 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 get through the whole thing. And I I always always knew <clears throat> that I could call her, and and uh, she would have the right thing to say. I felt very prepared. I thought Nebraska Medicine did a great job of providing me with a whole notebook full of information. There were websites. Um, the social workers, Jody and Angela, were great to give all of us in our family the information we felt we needed. Uh, my care manager was amazing. I, you know, the contact, we could just get a hold of somebody if we needed to whenever we needed it. So I, I felt well prepared. I, mean, I was still a bit anxious going into it and I knew I had had some lung issues prior to transplant. I knew there were no guarantees going in, but I had faith in Dr. Gondabalu and the staff and I knew that, you know, I, I could trust them to do what they knew how to do best.